Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hammercraft Season 6 with me, your Fonts of a Tree today. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty fantastic in the background, doesn't it? That distracted me completely. Look at it with the mist around it. Oh, that looks so good. Doc! Dude, it's a new day! Why are you dying again? So, I was live streaming last night on the server and Doc died uh, probably at least five times, probably more. And I have logged on today and he is continuing that streak. I don't know what Doc is up to, but he is a crazy dude. I've not died yet on the server. I am not necessarily the Iron Woman because I think that Impulse may not have died or there's probably someone that hasn't died, just Assassin maybe. I don't really know. Maybe Zombie Cleo hasn't. I don't know. I don't know who's died and who hasn't. I feel like the majority of people have died, but most uh, there, there are a few that haven't. Uh, including myself. Um, I wasn't really aiming to not die, but I don't know. I've just been very, very careful, I guess, so far. I've been blown up by many, many creepers, but none of them have yet to kill me. So I feel like the creeper, the creeper family are gonna, like, get me at some point. Anyway, today I am clearing out some trees from this side of the island because I think this is where I want to build. I want to build a very, sort of, small building uh, that is gonna be within the style that we are going to continue building in. But I want to build something small because obviously at the beginning of this season we don't have a lot of materials to our names. Like, I've been doing a lot of digging, so I have a bit of cobblestone. Uh, I've been doing some digging in the nether, so I have quite a bit of quartz. And it's probably at least enough for, you know, a small building so far. But I will continue gathering resources in streams and stuff, so definitely make sure you're following me on Twitch. Because that is when we're going to be doing the more dangerous stuff, I guess. For now, I want to actually get started with building. Although I say that, I do want to fight the end dragon kind of soon, so that is going to be pretty dangerous. But I'm not yet ready for that, so we'll have to see. But anyway, I'm going to start doing a little bit of terrain work because I want to build something here. But it's obviously not very, very, very flat. And I sort of do want a flat thing to build on and then I can build the terrain around it. It's going to be the easier way of doing it. So I'm going to get my camera account to quickly uh, pop on and have a look at what this looks like from above. And I'll show you guys what it looks like as well. So this is our peninsula from above, all the leaves are now despawning, and yes, this is our whole area right here. So this is the beach that we are starting on on this side right here, and this little thing over here is I think where we want to put the main part of our base. I mean it's obviously going to be around that, but yeah, I think that is currently my plan. Although the thing I want to build wants, I want a hole in the middle. That's, yeah, um, and it's not going to be the, the dome thing that I built last season, don't worry, but it is going to uh, have a hole in the middle. If you can see that, hear that crackling in the background, that is my other account standing by furnaces, by the way, <laughs> if you're wondering. But, um, but yeah, so everything is looking pretty cool, and I do think a little tiny build will fit really, really nicely just on this edge here. We can take it down, move it at another time, or just, you know, change what it's used for, which is probably what I'm going to do. Because currently, I want to put an AFK fish farm in it. Anyway, the sun seems to be going down. Look at this view, though. It does look pretty amazing. I've even started lighting up my island a little bit. Uh, I need to do the other half. <laughs> I'm running out of torches. But yeah, Ren, Ren side, of the, side of the island is looking pretty good, too. But we're not going to go there too much, because uh, I'm sure he's busy doing other stuff. But yeah, uh, hopefully this build looks good today. I'm going to prepare the little area we want to build on. And uh, hopefully it's going to be right for our build. Well, I have just about figured out the placement for this thing. I think it's good enough. I was going to make it a little bit closer to the edge, but, you know, it's quite steep here and I quite like how steep it is, so it's probably best that it's pushed back a little bit. So yeah, this is the, uh, the, the build. Yes, I know it's circular. I just like building circular things, okay? <laughs> how many seasons is it now that I've built a circular build? I, I don't know. I just... Circles are like my go-to shape in Minecraft. I know, I know. But every time I do make a circle, I build something completely different, like a different theme, and I make it look very, very different. So that is sort of, I, I guess, something I do. I try and make everything look different every time I build something. So as much as it is the same shape, it should look very, very different, especially being a fantasy theme. The sun seems to be going down. I'm gonna hope that someone's gonna... Someone's gonna sleep, we'll put a little torch there. The rest of the area around this should be lit up, but uh, this current circling area around it isn't. Uh, I'm currently digging out just the, the roof area because it's not dug out completely just yet. Um, and like I say, I'll build the terrain around the build. Um, 
if we decide to. Yeah, I might bring it around here a little bit and sort of make it hug the build a little bit. But this is also going to be quite tall. Uh, I am worried that it's going to look super duper odd because literally nothing else other than the ship is built around it. But I think as soon as the season starts, you know, going and people start building things and doing terrain and the shopping area over there, I think that's the shopping area. Once that starts being built upon, oh my goodness, it's going to, I think it's going to look really, really good. It's almost like a lighthouse, but it isn't. Um, although maybe I could make it into some sort of lighthouse in the future if I decide to. But yeah, anyway, it's going to be a big sort of tower build. Who knows, man? I'm super excited and um, hopefully we get the chance to build all of this today. It's going to be quite the task, so maybe only the bottom half or maybe the rest will be on Thursday. Who knows? But um, it's going to be quite the challenge, so I've got to... Probably get myself some feather falling boots would be good. Right, well it's now the next day because yesterday was way too warm for me to sit in this room just the whole day recording. So I did a little bit, bit of work just here and there during the day. But yeah, I just had to chill yesterday. It was just way too warm to do anything. So sadly, uh, yeah, I didn't get a lot done. I need to get ahead of videos as well at some point, which is a problem. But anyway, I've just been playing around with this wall here. And I think I've actually put these stairs upside down. We actually want them, I think, to be the other way. We want them to be like... Uh, if I can place them like this. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, I'm coming up with a design right now for the tower. The bottom half is going to be uh, more of a tower. The top half is going to be more of a... Oh, what is it called when you have a very... like a, a gazebo-y sort of thing that you have like in your garden, right? <laughs> Uh, a sort of building that's very, very open on top. So this is going to be enclosed here, up to like maybe there, like half of this. I've tried figuring out how tall this is going to be, and I think it's okay. Once I start building buildings on the hill and everywhere else, you know, it, it'll start like not looking too crazily tall. But for right now, I mean, that looks like it's basically block limit, doesn't it? It's pretty crazy. But anyway, so we want to obviously continue this up. So I'm trying to get some depth in here by adding this sort of extra structure here um and yeah i think i'm liking it i did actually spend yesterday also building a whole different circle plan than this co uh, this cobblestone one down a little bit further right on the ocean because i thought it'd be really really cool to have it right on the edge bordering the ocean bordering the uh the grass as well and the, and the sand but actually it looked absolutely awful it didn't look good at all so <laughs> i scrapped that idea and we got rid of it uh so another thing i want to use in here we're using stone bricks one two three i also want to use some glass now, this isn't going to really make sense now i've done a little bit of work in a creative world so that is why i'm like that is where the glass should go i'm not just sort of you know guessing uh, although i guess i sort of am a little bit so we need to go one two three one, two, three. Huh, it might be easier of me doing this off camera, but let's have a little bit of a look at what that looks like. Yeah, that, oh, you know what? It looks really like a face, doesn't it? Like, imagine this looks like a nose, and their eyes, and this is a grumpy mouth. It looks like a villager. <laughs> a very, very strange looking villager. But yeah, let me do the walls all the same like that, and then we'll start adding detail to it. And you'll sort of start seeing the very grand sort of you know, very detailed design idea that we want to be doing throughout this area because obviously it's fantasy, we want to go over the top with it, make it look super fantasy and uh, yeah, I think it's just going to look super great. So we're going to add lots of glass, lots of stone to this and then, then the top half is going to be even crazier. So just you wait and see. It always takes a little bit of a while to get into a pattern but I've now figured out exactly how this is supposed to look. The sun is going down there, I was hoping to get this one done before it did, uh, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's put a little stair there, there we go. I wanted to, oh wait, no, I was going to say I could jump into the water, you know what, maybe from this side? It's going to kill me if I land on the thing. Okay, perfect, okay. I wanted to have a quick little look before it went completely dark from over here. I was going to get in a boat and stuff, but yeah, the, the, the sun's gone down. Um... You know what, once it's got lighting inside it and we've got the glass, it's also going to be glass in these strips that I've missed out. White glass. Um, it does say the like faces, that's all I could see. All I could see is some faces, but that's definitely going to need more detail, isn't it? I did think that might be quite uh, a simple design. Uh, also where the cobblestone is, that is just like, um, that's not going to stay there, so don't worry about that. We're actually going to be putting, I think, yeah, I think I'll put like a stair edge around it um that was originally my plan that's why i knew what size i wanted uh so i built it a little bit bigger um b yeah, i think if i get yeah go with the stairs like so yeah yeah all the way around i reckon it'll just sort of give it that extra sort of 
it just, when, when you add stairs around builds like this, it just uh, makes it feel a lot more like sturdy, you know? Like someone's actually built it on like a foundation and stuff. Yeah, that looks all right. They do look like weird totem poles or something though. Uh, you know what, I might be able to actually work through the night because I believe we should be good with mobs. I mean, we might get some zombies coming over from, from over there and also the drowns. But I'm in a pretty safe area. I'm now working on this back wall, which I will do as detailed as the rest. And then if I decide not to move the land, which I don't think I will, I will remove the glass. Because obviously you don't want to see the glass through a window, do you? Right, now that's done. We can get a better look at it. I've done the stairs all the way around the bottom, even though they're sort of against the wall. Again, because I might as well just cover them over. And if I ever want to change the terrain, the stairs are already there. It just saves me kind of doing anything extra. Um, but yeah, these bits here definitely need some extra something or other. So I'm thinking we want to bring some stairs, maybe some... I don't think we can make them yet. They've made them uncraftable, right? The double slabs. These. I don't think you can make... Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Like, basically, if you were to put these two, like, on top of each other, that should be the crafting recipe, I guess. Um, and then you don't have this line here. That is a new block in 1.13, but it's e I can't remember if it's basically, like, not... I, I don't know. Basically, you can't use it. Uh, and I think we were, at least I heard from someone, I think the plan was to make it available. Um, I also want to make some of these blocks as well. Yeah, they're the ones I want. Uh, not the plain quartz, but the chiseled quartz. Uh, might also add some chiseled quartz stairs and slabs in the design, but we want to, you know, go over the top, but not so much on this bottom part. The bottom part is sort of the, the main structure, and then the, the rest is going to be like, I don't know, a bit more extravagant. Anyway, let me see, let me make some more uh, stairs up. I seem to have used them all up in that part, so let me get some blocks together, and hopefully we have enough materials. Yeah, we've got plenty. I've also been thinking about maybe adding some wood to the sides as well. Because stone and wood just generally work really well together. Maybe some spruce. I was thinking about using some acacia in the design. But I think once I get the roof on this thing, it's not going to look super great. So yeah, let's make just some of these. I'm going to be using the spruce ones a lot anyway in other projects. Whenever I need a trapdoor, it's going to be spruce. Because it just looks like the best, right? Uh, they're my favourite of the trapdoors. But I guess they're going to be used a whole bunch um, no matter what, like, they're just super useful. Anyway, so I want to make this, like, non-spawnable on the sides. So I'm thinking that is where we use the trapdoors. So, yeah, let's chuck these on here. Let's see if we can get trapdoors on there. I don't seem to have any. We use polished andesite as a, as a scaffold block. Why not? Um, yeah, something like this. And then I guess if we copy that here... And then I guess maybe put some more trapdoors on it. I don't know if the trapdoors are going to work or not. And they don't look bad. But they don't look great either. <laughs> they might not be the right thing. Uh, but let's quickly build this on this side as well. So it's one like that, one like that. Like this and like this. But I, I do really, really love with builds like this. We've, we kept it super simple. But then we obviously we just started adding detail to it. And that's what I want to do throughout the season. I want to build something and then look at it and go, yeah, let's add more to it. <laughs> you guys know me in detail. I, I'll always add more more detail. But um, I don't know about the spruce. I think we'll carry on around the whole thing like that. I do like that. It definitely adds more shade. Definitely needs some, yeah, definitely needs some stone slabs in here though as well. Just to lighten it up a little bit. But yeah, let me quickly grab some more spruce and we'll... We'll see what the whole thing looks like. Right, I've added even more detail now. <laughs> and I'm hoping... Oh, I don't know what I feel about it. I think the spruce is ruining it. Let's get rid of the spruce to the side and have a little look. Uh, we just need to figure out where the entrance is going to go. I think maybe here. We can change this to be an entrance, perhaps. Um, did we get all of it? No, we haven't got rid of all the spruce yet. Uh, is it going to be best to do this? I guess so, maybe. See if I can hardcore parkour around here. Yeah, I can definitely get rid of it. Right, yeah, I don't know if the spruce is quite working for it. Maybe we need to just keep it super grayscale and then add the colour with other blocks instead of uh, trapdoors. Yeah, I think that looks better. In fact, we can even add like maybe some like more stairs or something. So, oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I like that. And it's got a frowny face. <laughs> no, it is. It's two eyes, a moustache, eyebrows. And it's just looking very disappointed at me. 
Very, it's looking at me very disapprovingly. It's like, what are you doing with this building, boss? <laughs> You've been playing with it for ages and it's looking still very, very awful. Right, well, I think I'm gonna leave the detail there for now. We can always chop and change it or whatever. The, the bottom is, isn't really the, the sort of main part of this whole thing. The bottom's easily changed and stuff. Um, but I do want to start building the top bit. Now, I think it's gonna be easier if I start, you know, making like a fake floor there. I think I'm just gonna make it out of dirt for now. But let's have quite one quick look. Yeah, mm, it looks very, very short and dubby. Like, <laughs> dubby? Dubby's not a word. Dumpy, maybe, is what I'm going for. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's get some uh, dirt for the floor so we have some sort of scaffolding to work upon. Um, we might also want some quartz stairs and slabs. So let's maybe make some of those. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely use all of those, won't I? <laughs> That's quite a lot more than I imagined. Uh, great. Uh, that's it. False waste all of your quartz. No. Um, yeah, we'll we'll leave it like that for now. So chiseled quartz block. We've got the quartz stairs and the slab. So let me quickly add this uh this fake floor in because we're, de we're definitely going to want to cut cut it off there and make that sort of the both the ceiling and the floor of the next level. And uh, I can't seem to get up here. <laughs> I need some sort of scaffolding up. There we go. Much better. Right. Add the floor here, and then we shall continue the build. Well, at least there's one thing I am loving about this build so far. That is the view. Also, Cleo's ship is just looking. Dude, Cleo. Cleo, please. Stop making my build look bad, okay? No, that looks fantastic. Like, it's not even done yet. I went over to it. It's got no interior. It's got, like, a little bit of detail now, but, but I'm sure she's going to go crazy with it. And, oh my goodness, it's just... Let me just say, it is fantastic. I am a big fan. But, yeah, right now... So, I'm going to grab a stair, and I think we're going to... Get rid of all of this. <laughs> Gonna make it all stone brick. Yeah, there we go. And separate the areas completely. So that is the bottom half there. Cut off from the top. And uh, I think from here, what we will do is try and make some more stairs because I've run out. Of course I have. Um, we'll make some gazebo-like structures. So like some pillars. So we might have one like in these bits but i think that's not going to be enough so we might need them in the corners as well yeah so let's go with like i guess eight pillars is that gonna be too much i can't really do any less than that can i though oh i failed there uh where do i want this one there oh because i haven't put stairs down yet of course um being an umpty yeah, I think that'll work, and then we'll just go up with, I think, cobblestone. I think I'm going to go with cobblestone walls rather than fences with this, because it's the same issue with the wood that seems to still be here, where it's, like, too much of a different colour. I think maybe if I bring it in in other places, it could work in the future, but for now, grayscale's going to be have to be uh, where we where we draw the line. So, yeah, let me finish this up, and, uh, yeah, let's build at least all of these pillars, and we'll see what happens because I don't really know. I'm thinking archways in between these pillars but it's going to be difficult making that in a circle shape so I'll I'll see what I can do. Well I thought I'd get a view from it far away before I put the roof on. <laughs> I don't know what that looks like but it looks awful. It looks just terrible. I'm really really hoping right now that the roof's gonna save it because that's not looking good at all is it? Have I made the bottom, like, too square? Like, the whole point was it being round, and now I've added the corners on. It's just, like, a, a giant cube. It also looks way too short. Maybe that is just because it hasn't got the roof on top right now. I'm really actually worried about it, but I guess I can remove it if I need to, right? So I shouldn't really be panicking. <laughs> it's okay. Only the other hermits will see it, which is an awful lot of people, and then they'll see it, and then you guys will see it, and then it's a lot of people will see it. But, um, let's just say I'm not a fan right now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's continue with the roof. Well, there's Doc showing off in the chat that he's built a massive trident farm. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I kind of want to get a trident, though, without using the farm before you guys are, are like, oh, my goodness, Foss, go use Doc's farm. I want to I wanna get it legit. The only thing I've had is a baby zombie attack me with a trident, and that is it. And, and by baby zombie, I mean baby drowned, obviously. But um, he didn't drop it, and I haven't got looting yet. Looting's the one thing I haven't got. I mean, I've got a pretty good sword, but not looting. I've also got a pretty good pickaxe. It's got mending on it. It's the only one I have. But anyway, uh, guys, I'm actually now, now a fan of this. I know that in the last clip I said I wasn't. Look at it, though. I'm going to get quickly in my boat. I'm going to look back at it, and it's really the height that makes the build. And I and I, I did think that in the back of my head. I was like, as soon as it starts getting like to the height I want it, it's going to look better. 
I mean, it's still pretty huge though, isn't it? I got rid of the corners as well. They, they were making it too square. I still might not, I still might get rid of the stone slabs. They're poking out, you can see them on that side. But I think maybe, it just, I think it just depends on where you look at it from. I think with the roof it's going to look better as well. The quartz at the top is are quite... I think we're going to try and cover them a little bit and uh, push them back and build like around them or something? I don't really know. My plan is to cover it up and sort of, you know, make the roof super detailed if I can. So hopefully the quartz shouldn't cause too many issues. I don't believe you get a VIP table at the chicken... friend <laughs> making a chicken farm shop thing. Who knows what's going on, man? Here I am. And here I am making an AFK fishery building that is way over the top. <laughs> Great guys, we're doing really well. GG, episode three. We're just like making crazy farms, building stupid things like this. And um, yeah, just doing some crazy stuff. And um, anyway, uh, right, we need to add the roof now. So I think with the roof, we need to obviously start bringing it inwards. So let's quickly see if we can get up here. Let's, are you giving out tours, dog? <laughs> yeah, well, dude, where's my tour? Do I get a tour? I don't really want a tour, I just want a trident. <laughs> no, I will get a trident uh, myself at some point. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I think I might need to do something like this. So that we can get a nice corner on this thing. Yeah, let's go like two, like that. So we want to bring it, bring it back. What does he say? <laughs> well, I'm trying to read the chat as well. When, when do you want to do a tour? It would be cool if you guys come by. Okay, well, GG guys, everybody go do a tour. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Have fun. Uh, I'll be here, you know, building away. It's fine. Don't mind me. <laughs> no, I have been, uh, I spent a couple hours on this already. And uh, it's not even done yet. There's going to be more detail and stuff going on. But yeah, I think we've got a good sort of roof base here. Uh, on top of this, though, did I bring the blocks with me? I didn't. But the purple bed in my inventory is a bit of a clue. We're going to be using purple. Purple is the colour I think I've chosen. I was going to do a vote with you guys what colour for the roofs this season. Uh, or at least that's my plan so far. Um, yeah, and I decided against it because I was like, purple is like the most... Like, purple is a very, very like royal colour, at least in like the UK. I don't know, maybe other places. But it's a very rich colour. It's a very royal colour. And because I want to, you know, go all out, I can't think of a better colour than purple. Guys, let me know if you do think of a better colour. It was that or red, but red's quite... I don't know, it's got like a different vibe. Uh, it feels more evil, but purple just feels... Like, look how bright this is. It just looks great. That with quartz and stone blocks just... It's gonna just pop, isn't it? Like, look at the bed, and then look at the stone, and then look at the... It just all works very, very nicely together. I was hoping to bring in some, some cyan blocks also, and yellow and orange. They're the four colours that when we were coming up with the block pal palettes of this place. Uh, they're the colours that I put down on fantasy, because at that point I knew that I wanted to do fantasy, and I was like, okay, let's sort of, you know, come up with some colours that'll work uh, sort of together. They don't really, I mean... I don't know. Uh, who knows, man? But um, yeah, I think purple is what we're going to go with. I just need to figure out what I'm doing for the ceiling. But we'll do that next episode. I think we're going to have to work on interior and the AFK farm and the storage below it or above it or wherever the storage is going. We're going to have to work on that next episode. I thought I could do it all today. Well, I guess we've got to go off the diving board. Wait. Oh, is it? Oh, you know what? It's still... <laughs> the land down there is so steep that it just looks like there's a uh, space for me to jump, but I don't think there is. Oh, maybe from here. <laughs> to risk it again. Wee! Okay. Oh, that is a close one, though. Right, let's get a little bit further away. Oh, dude, I love swimming in this game. Oh, that's a squid. Oh, that scared me. I forget that they sort of ink you. Right, okay. And moment of truth. Da -da -da -da. Oh, oh, dude, even without the blocks blocking... I mean, they do sort of look like teeth, though, don't they? <laughs> it looks like it could be a mouth. There's little, little baby teeth at the bottom. Big, giant teeth at the top. Um, sort of weird, but dude, I've added the little little thing on the top and I think that's perfect height. Yeah, you know what, I think we got it. We might round these corners another time, because they are bugging me every time I look at it. I'm like, dude, those corners are too pointy. But, not that's a bad thing, I mean, we can have pointy corners. Um, but yeah, I think what we do now is mess around. I think I'm going to add little bits like this up there. So we're going to add, like, stone around this bit, stone slabs, and maybe up by the stone brick as well, just to break up these blocks, because they're all just, like, attacking each other almost. <laughs> they're all sort of just there lining up, uh, which is not the, the theme we want to go with. We want to sort of 
keep it nice and smooth and, you know, break up the different blocks that we're going to be using. Because we're going to be using an awful lot of blocks. So, like, things like, I think we'll go with something like this. And then maybe, like, a thing like this. Oh, hello. Mess that one up. But you guys get the idea. You guys get the drift. Um, maybe something like that. You know what, we can even add more detail at the front of these areas. I don't know if I've got any more quartz slabs. I do. Maybe something like, let's bring those in and then let's bring the slabs in like here. Have I got still stone on me? I do. Let's try and add another. I like the idea of using buttons as well this season. I always forget them as like detail blocks. That doesn't look too bad, honestly. Like I don't even hate that. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this is the, you know what? This actually, you know, I think I actually got it straight away. Like, I think I like how this looks. I think I was going to have to do something like that there on these corners because I seem to have missed a whole block out here. Uh, that'll work. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm liking that. Can we add... Wait, wait, wait. Yes. Do put torches on those. Because then we're going to be able to like light the area up. And that would be sweet. I do need to be careful right now though. <laughs> Look how high up I am. Okay, let's not fall because I've only got depth strider one boots. <laughs> I never got my feather falling one ones, guys. You know what? Actually, I have enough levels. You know what? Stuff it. We're not risking it. We're going for further falling boots. I've got a book. I've got the boots. I just need to enchant them and 30 levels is definitely enough. You know what? I totally forgot it. Mr. Parrot over here has some boots on him. So apologies for that, dude. I'm taking them from you. No, <laughs> they're in the, they're in the chest and they fell on him and it just looked quite funny. In fact, wait, can I throw these at you? And it was like, you're wearing boots! <laughs> that is hilarious. So I had to take a screenshot. Dude, that is funny yeah so we found a parrot we found a jungle we found two two wolves and uh my base is basically a farm just a quick update i've also killed some cows and yeah we've got a cow head there and a cow head there great job for us I'm, I'm i'm doing really well aren't i guys i also tidied this up look how much better it looks oh i know it's going to annoy me as well it's very temporary though but you might have to stick around for quite a while okay i haven't seen that in a while uh, well, I haven't seen that at all before. Look at that, a throwaway joke. Throw a trident at something. No, throwing away your new weapon is not a good idea. Well done, Doc. Congratulations on throwing away your current weapon. I'm guessing they come back to you. I haven't actually used the trident before. I think I held one. Um, like, I, I, I got it in creative mode, and I was like, oh, I'll, like, you know, have a look at what this does, and I don't think I ever, like, played around with it very much, especially not underwater. But, um, but yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so looking forward to getting a trident. I'm so, I'm so looking forward to it. I want to get it legit. I definitely want to get it legit. Now, I have, I think, finished this. Do you think I've finished it? Have I finished it? I don't know. Let's see if we can land on the... There. I've got my feather falling boots on. Look at these. They've got Depth Strider 2 on them as well. Talk about upgrade. Blimey. Um, these were actually just a, a an enchant as well. I guess they've got projectile protection. They're not the best. But um, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. Um, interior? I think we'll work on the interior next episode, like I've already mentioned. Um, but let's have a look at this from... I think, I, have I done it? I'm making sure I've done everything before I have a look at it. Because I don't want to look at it and then have to come back up here and carry on building. Because I'm running out of time. This, this, this part of the, this clip here, um, and the previous, like, half of the episode, um, has been pretty much recorded on the day it goes up, which I don't usually do. But... And mostly because my internet sucks. Um, it takes like an hour to upload a video, so uh, yeah. Uh, but oh, dude, you know what? You know what? Let's have a proper little like look around. I mean, once the terrain around it is done, there's like you know custom trees, and I think I'm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the dirt. I don't know if I like grass <laughs> or you know I don't think I like grass everywhere. I really, really like how the sand works, so I might sort of continue that around and make this a really, really sandy area. Maybe mix in some smooth sandstone as well. But I'm thinking maybe like horse dirt could work for the majority of the land. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Especially now coarse dirt, you can, you know, get it with, with spruce trees or something. No, wait, that's pods all, isn't it? I don't know. You know what? I actually really like that. <laughs> I thought they looked like teeth, but they don't anymore. Somehow. I don't know how that makes it. Maybe that little block in, in between. Maybe we should add like some glass to it or something. I don't really know. 
Guys, I'm going to leave it up to you because this video is going up on the same day it's been recorded. Uh, I'll be reading the comments and uh, next time I record I will be, you know, maybe doing some things that you guys suggest with it. Um, but yeah, so I do need to add a doorway. That is one thing I guess I'll do just between this episode and next. It'll just be like a little doorway here for now. We can always move it. Um, but yeah, I like it. You know what? It, it'll keep us safe from the phantoms when we're AFK fishing and... It just generally looks pretty good, so I'm happy with it. Guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. I'm really happy with it. Let's go. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.